Rough travels out here, eh? We even saw Dark Spawn on the way in. We're delivering a message to the Chantry in Denerim. You? We saw a blood mage down near the Brazilian forest. We're off to tell the Chantry about him. Thanks. We're heading out. Stay safe. You went above and beyond the call of duty for the Circle. You, the child, is possessed. But killing the demon would mean killing the... Unless you intend to enter the Fade. Yes. Yes, it can be done with a group of mages. I shall gather what mages I can, and we shall leave promptly. A life is at stake. begun preparations for the ritual. We can start any time. It truly depends on the manner of demon. It sounds like a spirit of greed and desire, one of the more powerful in the hierarchy. It will likely engage you in dialogue and tempt you with an offer. Avoid it. Making deals with demons never turns out well. Then re we are ready to proceed, who in you. I'm glad we decided to take this route. This is really the best option. Very well. I assume you are going into the Fade. Or did you have someone else in mind? Good. Let us get the ritual underway, then. Have you seen my son? I can I can hear him, but I cannot find him. This blasted fog has me turning in circles. The what? I don't understand. Is Connor here or not? What? Possessed? Then we must help him. Is that why you're here? You? I do trust you. We must help my son. But I can never find him in this fog. You must find Connor. Please, I beg you. Is anyone out there? You're the one that made father ill. Tell me now. 
No! You're here to hurt father! I know it! I won't let you! one making father sick. I'll help him. You can't stop me. Why do you keep hurting me? Why are you trying to stop me? You will not find what you seek. Turn back now. I will not speak with you. Trespasser, I will drive you out. Get out! Blessed are the existence I'll stop you! I will! Father wonders, seeking me, trapped within my web. All is as it should be. Why must you interfere? Hmm. No, I do not believe you. No, it is time for you to go now. Do not persist, or things will go very badly for you. prefer reasonable negotiation whenever possible. Your goal is for me to release the boy's soul. Is that right? What if you could persuade me to leave voluntarily? No fuss, no bloodshed. So you will at least consider it? Let me make a proposition, then. I abandon the boy. For now. But I retain the contract he and I made. And many years from now, I may return and claim what is mine. This will be long after whatever you want is done. In exchange, 
I will provide something up I offer much. Power, knowledge, pleasure. What is it you desire? Then it is a deal. I wish you luck, dear girl. Eamon has... I... There is... We will hold him for Eamon to decide his fate. If he doesn't recover, very... The urn. The... Thank you. The... I'm... So it is over. Connor is his old self. He does not seem to remember anything, which is a blessing. I suppose we will need to send him to the Circle of Magi's Tower for... training, once the war is over. It's so odd to think of the boy as a mage, of all things. Eamon has much to mourn and rebuild, should he recover. But at least he could be thankful that both his son and wife are safe. I owe you my deepest thanks. I had nearly... I can scarcely believe Connor is the boy he once was. There is still the matter of Jowan. His poisoning Eamon began this whole mess, yet he lives. I must decide what becomes of him. We will hold him for Eamon to decide his fate. If he doesn't recover, Jowan's fate is sealed. What do you think? Very well. I shall have the mage imprisoned again for now. But our task is not done yet. Whatever the demon did to my brother, it seems to have spared his life, but he remains comatose. We cannot wake him. The urn. The urn of sacred ashes will save Eamon. 
It has been tried, and we will continue trying. Perhaps the demon's absence will make a difference. However, the relic is another option. My husband funded the research of a scholar in Deneram, a brother Genetivi. He has been studying the inscriptions on Andraste's birth rock. When Eamon fell ill, I sent the knights to speak to Genetivi. I hoped that he had finally discovered the location of the urn of sacred ashes itself. They were unable to locate Genetivi. In desperation, I sent more knights in search of the brother, or some clue of the urn's location. Eamon is well respected and powerful. He can pull Ferelden together. If you wish to fight the Darkspawn, you will need him. No one else can. Even if I wish to do it myself, I cannot abandon Redcliffe to its own devices. Perhaps you could seek out the brother's home in Denerim and see if any clues remain on his whereabouts. It is the only place to begin the search, I think. I must go to the hall and begin rebuilding. I wish you luck, and may the Maker go with you. I have faith that you will find a way to help my husband.
come to check on my holla and I, I don't know. It... I am glad you attempted. I will walk. I understand we will be joining you in battle as soon as the hunters have recovered. So, you know that I'm a Templar, right? I believe what I heard was that you were not, in fact, a Templar. You were trained as one before you became a Grey Warden. That's right, but I still have all the abilities of one, of course. That doesn't make you nervous. Should it? I am no apostate. Perhaps you should be <laughs> directing this question. She claims not to be afraid of me, or anything, really. But you've had more experience with the Templars than her. I know how mages can sometimes... The Templars serve a function, and a necessary one. If what has happened at the Tower proves anything, it is that we mages can be dangerous, even to ourselves. That's one way of looking at it. And regardless, you seem like a decent enough young man. If you decide to slaughter me out of hand, I'm sure you would at least inform me first, no? Oh, sure. Count on it. Concentrate, like we practiced. Now, fire! Never any shortage of these ones. I'm taking these apprentices to Redcliffe. The first enchanter says you need every able-bodied mage for the war. They're young, but capable enough, as you saw. You know, maybe this isn't the best time to be thinking about this, but I have something to ask you. Seeing as we're in Denerim now, I'm wondering if we might be able to look someone up. No, I, I know that. That's not what I'm talking about. The thing is, I have a sister, a half-sister. I told you about my mother, right? She was a servant at Redcliffe Castle and she had a daughter. Only I never knew about her. I don't think she knew about me either. They kept my birth a secret after all. But after I became a Grey Warden, I did some checking and, well, I found out she's still alive in Denerim. No, I thought about writing her, but I never did. And then we were called down to Ostagar and I never got the chance. She's the only real family I have left. The only family not also mixed up in the whole royal thing. I've just been thinking that Maybe it's time I went to see her. With the blight coming and everything, I, I don't know if I'll ever get another chance to see her. Maybe I can help her. Warn her about the danger, I don't know. Could we? I'd appreciate that. If something happened to her and I never went to at least see her, I don't know if I could forgive myself. Her name is Goldana, and I think she remarried but still lives just outside the alienage. If we're in the area, then... Well, 
It's worth a look. Now that we're back at the camp, I want to talk about what happened at Redcliffe. I just wanted to thank you. You went out of your way to save the Isles family and you did it. Even though it would have been easier not to. There's been so much death and destruction. It... Well, it, it makes me feel good that at least we were able to save something. No matter how small. I owed the Isle that much. You're right. Hopefully, by that time, there's still enough of Ferelden left to save. Good. Now that the warm, fuzzy part of the day is over with, we can get back to the ritual dismemberments. Oh, wait. It's not Tuesday, is it? Indeed. Yes. Yes. <laughs>